Hi Anusha, here's the second video and I'm going to show you how to use a four-fold stock tie to tie a traditional knot at your neck. So for this, you're going to use the same length of the four-fold stock tie. So you're going to begin with the loose edges in the back towards your neck and the iron folded fold in front and you're going to place it evenly on your neck. So up and around and you're going to create a knot. So you're going to go in the front and you're going to create a knot. So I'm going to adjust the stock tie so it's nice and snug because they do loosen up. And then I'm going to create a square knot and it is going to look exactly like a square. So you don't necessarily have to tie the knot tight. If you can see, square is literally a square. Then you're going to take the ends that have the ironed folded edge and you're going to pin them up to the stock tie like such. And you're going to pin each end with the pin going straight down about an inch away from the knot on either side. As you can see, it looks like that. So that when you fold it over, you have this nice, neat line. That's the right side, and then I'm going to go on the left. So for the bib stock tie, you're going to need five pins. For this, you only need four. And I'll demonstrate in a minute what the pins look like when both of them are inserted. So now you have your pins on either side of the knot. Then you come over with the knot and you're going to cover the knot so that the knot is covered. And that's what people were talking about. You had your knot down like this before, but you want the knot covered. And that's where you're going to insert your stock tie pin so that the knot is covered. And you're going to do it fairly high in the crossover of the fabric. So now I have my stock tie pin in and it's level. And the last thing that you're going to do, and this is really important so nothing moves, is you're going to then pin down the ends of the stock tie. And again, the pins go down like such so that they're away from your shirt and you don't see the ends sticking out of a jacket or a vest. And if you need to, you can always fold them under and pin them. And then I'll show you what it looks like when you have your jacket on. And again, this is all very flat. Now when you put your jacket on, Your stock tie looks like this and you can adjust it so that the pins will go lower so that you'll see less of your white shirt and you can kind of play with the pins it doesn't take much to do or you can do what a lot of people do which is to artificially raise where the fold of the jacket is it's very simple you put a pin here and you pin the top of the jacket, which is a really pretty look when you're on, so that it looks raised. And that's what it looks like to have a knot that's covered by the pin. It's not actually in the knot with your stock tie on. I hope that helps.